A television show starts out as a treatment, a brief written outline that introduces the characters and possible storylines. During the development process, however, characters can undergo subtle or even drastic changes. We've uncovered the original treatment for Gilligan's Island that Sherwood Schwartz presented to the networks over 40 years ago. Here's a chance to discover how the cast of the ill-fated SS Minnow evolved into the world's most famous castaways. According to Sherwood Schwartz, Gilligan was always meant to be a walking accident whose assistance on a project would virtually guarantee its failure. In the treatment, however, first mate Gilligan wasn't a mighty sailing man at all, but rather an ex-Navy cook who knew nothing about the sea. He neglected to tell the skipper this fact because he desperately needed a job. And here's the answer to a question that has stumped fans for 40 years. What is Gilligan's first name? In the treatment, it's written in black and white for all to see. Gilligan's first name is Willie. That's right, Willie Gilligan. In Sherwood Schwartz's mind, the captain of the SS Minnow was always a veteran sailor. He was described as a thorough and resourceful man, able to meet new challenges with vigor and authority. Known simply as the captain in the original treatment, his nickname was changed to Skipper before filming the pilot. The biggest change in the Skipper's character from the treatment dealt with his relationship with Gilligan. In Sherwood's original synopsis, the Skipper and Gilligan weren't buddies from the Navy, but rather Gilligan was a last-minute replacement for the Skipper's regular first mate, who had come down with a bad case of rum. Super rich tycoon Thurston Howe III and his wife Lovey didn't always have the world at their fingertips. In fact, in the beginning, they didn't even have names. In the original treatment, the Howells were referred to only as a well-to-do middle-aged couple taking their yearly extensive vacation trip. It wasn't until the pilot episode that the Howells inherited their fortune. Their elitist attitude, however, was well in place right from the beginning. In the treatment, Sherwood wrote, it's only a matter of time before Mr. and Mrs. middle-aged couple form a country club on Gilligan's Island, and you may rest assured that they will be the only two who will be able to meet the membership requirements. Ginger Grant didn't start out as a Hollywood starlet, but rather came from more humble beginnings. She was first conceived as a secretary who had saved her salary to afford her trip aboard the SS Minnow. Sherwood Schwartz originally described Ginger as witty and bright with a very realistic, sometimes sarcastic attitude. After the pilot, Sherwood decided a character change was in order and transformed the wisecracking secretary into the voluptuous actress and nightclub singer that the world has come to know and love. Roy Hinckley, better known as The Professor, changed careers twice before he became the resident genius on Gilligan's Island. In the treatment, the professor was actually a writer who was traveling on the SS Minnow in order to find an authentic island atmosphere for his new novel. His smarts came not from academia, but rather from knowledge he had stored up in researching his other books. When filming the pilot, Sherwood Schwartz changed the character into a high school science teacher and gave him the nickname Professor. It wasn't until the series finally went to air, however, that Roy Hinckley graduated into a full-fledged college professor, research scientist, and scoutmaster. Before she became the wholesome store clerk from Winfield, Kansas, Mary Ann Summers had another occupation, and a different name for that matter. Like Ginger, Mary Ann was originally envisioned as a secretary. Known as the first young lady in the treatment, and as Bunny in the pilot episode, her character was described as blonde, not terribly bright, and quite innocent about the feminine charms she possesses. When the time arrived for Gilligan's Island to go to series, however, Sherwood Schwartz decided to alter the character. Bunny became Mary Ann, as the ditzy secretary developed into the down-to-earth girl next door and creator of countless coconut cream pies.